everyone, and welcome to Evie's Toy House. And it is about time that we customize Applejack. So we've done the other five ponies, and the last one is Applejack. So lately, I've been looking high and low for Applejack or farm-themed items that we can use to customize a plate for Applejack. But unfortunately, I haven't been able to find anything that is about the size that would work for a plate. But I remember that I actually have a cute little mold. I had bought this around Christmas time thinking I could do some uh, Christmas themed gingerbread houses with this but I never did it. So I still have this mold that I've never used before and it is really cute. It looks like a little cottage. We have the shingles up here for the roof. We have a little fireplace, some windows and here's the other side of the house. So it's really cute. So I thought maybe we can customize this one in resin to make a little house for Applejack. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to build a little house and we're going to paint Applejack and then mount her onto a plate. So the tools I'm going to be using is some epoxy resin. I have uh, UV resin over here with some uh, pigments and I'm also going to be using two-part resin for the rest of the house. Alright, so let's get our gloves on, our masks on and open a window. Here we're going to start with some clear UV resin for the windows. After curing under the UV lamp, we will do the fireplace and shutters with brown. This is pretty tricky to do because the cavities are very small and shallow. Then we're going to add white borders around the window. Next, with dark red, we'll fill in a few bricks. Once all the small areas are done, let's use regular two-part epoxy resin to fill in the rest of the walls. The walls are going to be red, so I'm adding some red pigment. And then we're going to pour it into the mold. This will take about a day to cure. Here I'm mixing some lavender and we're going to pour this over the roof. I see a lot of bubbles so we're going to pop them with a heat gun. So this red that I'm using is not very bright. As you can see it's very faded and can't even see the red. So I'm going to try something. I am going to take a little bit of resin, new resin, and I'm going to add some raw ruby to it to make it super red. It's only been about an hour since I poured the first batch of resin, so the resin is still soft and fluid but starting to get thick. So I'm just going to pour the new resin on top, and as you can see, it's sitting on top of the first layer, not blending much at all. So now using a craft stick, we're going to mix it up and swirl the red into the old resin. I'm not going to worry about it being lumpy because the resin cures very slow, so by the time it's cured, it'll be nice and flat again. Alright everyone, so it's been a day. Let's go ahead and unmold. See what it looks like. Okay, so here's the front. Oh, not too bad. Here's our next one. Here's our door. Here are the walls. Oh, the fireplace turned out pretty good. Here's the other wall. And here's the roof. Oh, the roof turned out great. Super cool. Now let's put the house together using some super glue. Next, let's make the plate. I'm pouring some clear resin on the bottom of the plate. 
add a little bit of green glitter and then we're going to set the house on top next we'll add some green moss all over the house we're going to mix it in with the resin to make sure that the moss is covered in it in the front of the door we're going to make a little small walkway with some pebbles It's been a day and the moss and the resin is cured. As you can see, it's hard to detach. Now to add some colors, we're going to add some paper flowers. We're going to scatter them all over. And then coat it with a layer of resin. While the resin is curing, let's paint Applejack. We're going to paint her body a light orange. Paint her mane and tail yellow. Paint her hat dark brown. We're also going to paint her eyes white. Add some lashes with black. And add some red hair ties to her tail and mane. Back to the eyes. I'm going to be using some water transfer decals that came with the Applejack figure. We simply dip the paper into water and then we can slide off the decal and place it over Applejack's eyes. We'll also do the same with her cutie mark. Alright everyone and we are done. So here is Applejack's plate and her plate is actually pretty big but I think it turned out really great. So we have Applejack here on the side. We have a bed of kind of grass and flowers on the very bottom and of course we have a little red house and the house is red and lavender similar to the colors of Applejack's barn. So this turned out to be a pretty cool trinket dish and it is the last of our My Little Pony series. So here is the side. We have a little fireplace here. We got some windows. Here is the back. Really love the heart. And here is the other side. However, I think we should go back and redo Twilight. So I first started with Twilight and actually did not give her a dish. However, all the other ones got a little dish or plate of some sort. So I think we need to redo Twilight. What do you think? If you agree, let me know down below in the comment section. Alright, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye!